precisely because of what's happened in Paris and also Sussex Police are responsible for the policing at Gatwick Airport as well. I'm asking the Chief Constable what additional, if any, security measures are being taken in Sussex and also to find out how well prepared he feels Sussex Police is and their other partner agencies um, should they ever need to respond to an event like that in Sussex. I mean, obviously, we hope that they won't have to, but I guess it's something you've, we've all got to be prepared for now. Unfortunately, yes. Um, I think the, the threat from uh, terrorism has always been prevalent in, in our society. I mean, certainly we've, we've had um, a long history with the IRA. I remember growing up as a child and always being aware. But, but I think uh, what, what's important for the public to remember is that the threat level against the police hasn't changed it's still um, the threat level for all of us remains severe and there's nothing to indicate that any attacks are imminent um, on the UK mainland or in, indeed in Sussex. But um, obviously around some of the major events in and around London, the sporting and public events, uh, the police have um, increased security as a matter of pre precaution and to provide more public reassurance. So I'm asking the Chief Constable, uh, is he confident that um, he can provide that reassurance for Sussex? And should they need to ever respond, um, that he's got the resources to do that? I mean, the, um, you know, every year all chief constables are obliged um, to review the threat, risk and harm assessment um, around any threat posed by criminals and or terrorists who use firearms. And then there's a lead for police firearms um, nationally as well. So it's really down to chief constables and the national police chief councils uh, to determine the level of resources that they need. These are operational decisions. And um, I just want to ensure that our chief constable has that to hand. And you mentioned before, obviously, that Gatwick falls under Sussex Police, which is uh, potentially uh, could be an area um, to, to look at or an area of concern. But I guess when you look at Paris, it, it wasn't a major transport hub or something like that that was attacked, as we've seen previously. It was just people out and about I enjoying their normal day to day life. So does it kind of change the way we look at these attacks and we look at terrorism? Well, certainly this is what we need reassurance from the police around, that they are, that they are alive to this and they are looking um, at these areas, but major public events, any sporting events and so on would be obviously a, a key area of concern where you've got large numbers of people gathered in one area. But unfortunately with uh, with terrorism, the idea is exactly that. It's to strike terror uh, right at the heart of us and we go about our everyday lives and, and what could be more terrifying than that. So um, it, it's hugely tragic what's happened in Paris and you know our thoughts and prayers are with everybody out there. But um, as far as I'm concerned, my role is to scrutinise and to make sure that um, that police are well prepared and that the chief constable you know has the resources the skills the training the equipment that he needs um, to uh, to fulfill his duties looking at local policing level and the fact that there may be tension within communities now and, and sort of diffusing that and making sure that there is understanding between different communities do you think that's going to be a big part of local policing now Absolutely. I mean, the public remain a critical part of the police's defence. Um, so obviously we're asking local people, residents to continue to remain vigilant, uh, report any sus suspicious behaviour or activity straight away. There's a confidential terrorist hotline that they can report to um, or in an emergency, obviously dial 999. But we do have um, a couple of areas in Sussex which are part of the government's uh, prevent programme to prevent radicalisation, um, Brighton and Hove and Crawley. So um, I think it would uh, it would be only fair for, for Sussex residents to ask, as is my job to do, um, for reassurance around those areas. And you talk about radicalisation, but I guess there's also now the threat of uh, Islamophobia from people who perhaps uh, associate uh, ISIL or, or IS with the whole of Islam, which is, is incorrect, but it may lead to, to some incidents. Well, hopefully not. And there's no indication at the moment that that's happening. But again, um, these are questions I will be asking the Chief Constable about. And certainly my Youth Commission members have been looking at hate crimes, and that's crimes against you for your ethnicity your race, your religion and so on and part of what they've been looking at is beginning to deal with that radicalisation in young people as well so um, I just need to, to gain that reassurance and to find out what Sussex Police uh, are doing around this